Welcome back to Provenance Minecraft. You already know we have tons of things to do today. So I have to make the auto farms for my sheep so I can get infinite mutton. Find Galena, which is for reforging stuff into like mythic, legendary, rare items, weapons, whatever. I gotta make draconic shells, which is like the best shells in the game, which are used for better enchantments. And then after that, I make the best gear ever for now. Then I'll just kill the wither. So it's not really too, too much. For the fallen icon, I'm gonna need to get the essence of Eventide, but the only way to get the essence of Eventide is from killing the frenzied shade. I think that's what it's called. It's the thing that kind of obliterated me like last episode or something, which is pretty unfortunate. So that's kind of a main reason why I need like the best gear ever. And for the wizard, I'll get another Lord Saul. And then there's a weapon. Well, I wouldn't say a weapon, but more of a, like a companion that I could get. But you guys will figure that out later in the episode. There's also one extra thing I need to do, which is upgrade the soul pyre. I decided to start using this weapon just for its ability because I did read a comment about it. It's really good for uh, bosses because you could use its ability to freeze them just like that. And then just killed it. Oh my gosh, I'm so laggy. Okay, let me show you guys a new example because that was really bad. So, its ability, you can teleport behind it and it just freezes and has slowness for like a couple seconds. So you can just swing at it. It's really good. I heard it works against bosses as well. It also teleports you back to the location where you use the ability. It's kind of weird, but it's really good. It only happens after a few seconds though. So I could add a nether fuse gem inside of this weapon as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also, if you guys really do enjoy my series, I'd appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe because I do take a lot of time making these videos and I'm like usually busy. So it really motivates me to make more content. All right, let's grab this. Now I should be able to make the uh netherite fused gem there we go Let's see what it is your weapon swings echo dealing additional unmitigated damage after a short delay interesting okay i mean i'll take it all right now i loki just need to repair uh this weapon and then i could reforge it it doesn't have to be anything too crazy because i'm not really using it for swinging i'm just using it for its ability okay i'm confusing myself wait oh i forgot the reforging is different in this mod pack so i need galena for this it's all good but i'm still gonna enchant it let me refresh the enchantments anima conduit three okay i'll take that i wonder if you could combine soul siphon nope you cannot. So for the sheep farm, I'm gonna need a farmer MK1, a slaughter MK1, and a rancher MK1. At least I assume so, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea how this is gonna work, but let's just pray that it does. So first I do want the rancher MK1, because I'm pretty sure that's what like breeds the animals, I'm assuming. It's not too, too difficult. I'm just gonna need a bunch of these like iron plates and stuff. That's why I have this forge hammer. This is how you craft it, just so you guys know. And I need to use this hammer to uh, smack down this iron and turn it into plates. I'm running out of space over here. Let me just place it right here. Now if we just place this hammer here, I don't need a hammer actually. What in the world? Now I can craft a machine block. There we go. Now we gotta craft a battery, but I'm gonna need some tin plates this time. All right, five should be enough. Now we can craft a battery. Now the MK1 circuit, just need some copper and gold. Boom and boom. Now we got the MK1 circuit. Now I just need some bronze, but to get bronze, I need bronze dust. For bronze dust, I need copper dust and tin dust. So let's go over here and start grinding this tin. Wait, oh, I could use a forge hammer to make tin dust. Okay, that makes things so much easier. And I can also make copper dust. Okay, I figured it out. So now we just grab this. Now we smelt it. And while that smelts, I'm gonna go ahead and get some milk. There we go. Let's go. Okay, I landed nicely. I think I'm pretty used to the elytra now. All right, I got the bronze ingots. We just go over here, turn them into plates. There we go. Now we should be able to craft the rancher MK1. There we go. I'm not completely sure how this works. So I'm assuming it like breeds the animals around me. So let me grab some wheat. How in the world are they getting out? Oh, come here, sheeps. You're not supposed to leave me. Now let's place this right here. I think we put wheat in here. Wait a minute. I need some uh, power for this thing. So let me grab one of these battery boxes. I actually crafted these a while back and they're pretty cheap as you can see here so let's go ahead and attach this on to the thingamabob boom and it should be powering what it's not charged i didn't even notice yeah i'm not really understanding this i think it just holds in battery that i just put in 
side because it's consistently like going out through the wires into everything else. I could be wrong. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Let me just grab my generator. All right, let's place this here. And now I can place coal in here. And now this should, oh, yep. You guys see that? It's working. All right, perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. I also do want to lighten up this place a little bit because it does look kind of terrible. So for now, let me go ahead and pick this stuff and let's get to building. Okay, I'm pretty much done. It's nothing really uh too crazy. Here, we just have the entrance and then you can just walk in. Here's all the sheep. Most of them disappeared because uh like, some hyena thingy just came in and just killed everything so yeah that's kind of yeah anyways let's go ahead and place this rancher back i'm not too sure if it works underground let me see if it does so i can place a generator here fill it up place a rancher and let me place something here real quick oh yeah i need some wheat so let's go ahead and quickly place this here place that and yep it does work so that's really good to know so let me go ahead and place a trap door and the farm should be fine. Next, I want to try out the slaughter MK1. It's pretty easy to make. It's kind of like the uh, rancher. All right, I should be able to craft it now. All right, there we go. We got the slaughter MK1. I might as well craft a solar panel just so I can have a good source of energy. I don't think it has to be anything too crazy. All right, there we go. All right, it's time to hook all of the stuff up. I'm not too sure how far down I could place this. Let me try out something. So first, first I do need to test out the slaughter MK1 k1 because i don't really know how it works so i gotta insert a sword in here maybe your axe works probably please don't kill everything at least uh, i don't think an axe works okay now let's try an actual sword yep it's working it just wait it just killed everything i don't think i wanted that to happen i may need to like use this like smartly on one side i could place the slaughter mk1 and maybe one side i could use a rancher and then like have the and have some of the sheeps like go to the slaughter mk1 and then they just die i'm not too sure how i want this to work okay so first let's go ahead and place this rancher mk1 and then the basic solar panel i'm not too sure if that works and i wonder if this gets sunlight through a trap door yeah it does i'm also gonna need a farmer mk1 so i could have as much wheat as possible all right let's go ahead and make this there we go not too sure if i want the wheat in the same place as the sheep or make like a separate thing for now let me just set up everything and then i'll be right back <laughs> Okay, I got enough coarse fruits and end stone, and I made it on top of this whale. You can't tame him though, I'm assuming, but he's just letting me stay on, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let me... <gasps> oh no, I need my hammer to recharge. I need to get up. I'll be alright. Now I just need to go back home. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna place this Chinese player right here. It looks pretty nice. All right, now we just have to pop these chorus fruits. Then I'll be able to make the galena. Okay, I have two stacks of popped chorus fruit. Should be enough. Let's go ahead and make the galena chunks. There we go. So now if I take this armor and we go to the reforging tab, we place a galena here. Let me get my diamonds real quick. And now we can reforge. So what I'm looking for is like legendary or unique. People are saying, oh, oh okay mythic and i forgot they added a mythic uh stat as well perfect for this one we gotta look for mythic or legendary they actually replaced um i completely forgot what i just said but it's right after legendary and they just replaced it with mythic so that's kind of what i'm going for right now legendary this is pretty good but i want mythic and i have like tons of diamonds so i should be fine there we go oh my gosh that's amazing now for the leggings okay i'm gonna need some more galena i'm starting to realize how much chorus for you actually need because this is the last of the galena i have oh no i'm just about to run out this is really good but i want mythic i actually need mythic oh dang it so i definitely need more chorus fruit i can still keep going but i'm definitely gonna run out eventually let's craft some more dang it okay i'm gonna go back to the end i'll see you guys once i get more galena okay i definitely should have enough chorus fruit as you can see here now let's just go ahead and make as much of this as possible all right there we go i do have way more end stone and chorus fruit in here but i should be good on galena for now let's go ahead and start reforging these legs again until we get a mythic here we go six max health 10 plus speed looking good now finally the boots there we go six max health more durability amazing now let's just see what it gives us once we put it on normally so we have pretty much double the armor point and double the hearts and once we upgrade this diamond armor to netherite and then 
diamond netherite it will be absolutely busted so i don't really have much netherite at the moment so i can't get every single upgrade but for now let's go ahead and just reforge everything to netherite there we go perfect now once we put this on it gives us way more armor points and health just look at these stats already just imagine once i enchant it with the draconic shelves because i'm gonna be needing max eterna so i can have the best enchantments possible but i'm gonna get into detail about that later so i could just wear this old armor it doesn't even give me as much health or armor as my normal netherite armor so just imagine once upgrades to diamond enchanted armor for now i'm gonna head to the nether and start getting some netherite all right i should be good on netherite um i got 44 which is a lot actually so i think it's time to get out of here all right i'm back i got pretty much a stack of netherite scraps and of course i've been turning all this ancient debris into scraps blah 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 you already get the point i gotta put these in here and i need some gold there we go and now i just have to wait for it to turn into more netherite okay 11 netherite that should be enough for the diamond gear i don't really need much anyway i kind of went overboard with the netherite i'm not gonna lie so let's go ahead and upgrade this netherite ingot into diamond ingots all right here we go we got four netherite diamond ingots and i'm actually slow i keep forgetting that i have to actually upgrade the netherite armor into iron first and then all the way up to gold to diamond blah 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 you get the point so let me go ahead and do that real quick i'm gonna be needing more of these upgrades so let's go ahead and take some i don't have enough and i don't have enough diamonds i'm definitely gonna be needing more diamonds because six is for sure not enough i have enough to at least turn all my armor into iron at least so let me go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna go on a trip to get some diamonds now that i'm done with that let me just go ahead and test it real quick i have a good power level 835 and i'm looking great with just this armor set with all these enchants and stuff it's still not as much as what i have here and once i enchant it it's gonna be amazing i'm actually excited for it so i'll be back i'm gonna cut to where i get more diamonds so i could get more of these smithing templates these skeleton sand bone places are actually amazing because it just gives you infinite diamonds basically i also got this uh simply swords weapon it's called a soul stealer you guys could read through it if you want by pausing the video but i'm not gonna be using this it's pretty cool though but yeah anyways let me uh get back up to the surface i pretty much search like majority oh or not okay there we go i'll take this thank you very much all right i think that's pretty much it now let's go ahead and keep duplicating these until i get a good amount not too sure if 12 is enough let me go ahead and try it out here we go now everything is upgraded once again we got the netherite em we got the netherite emerald ingot now let's just upgrade everything once again okay i have four more uh upgrades left that should actually be exactly enough but i'm still gonna make some more because i don't want to just run out completely this should be enough now i should finally be able to uh upgrade everything there we go boom boom and boom now we could take off this trash netherite diamond armor and equip everything else let's see how it is we have a thousand power level which is actually pretty good but there's even better now that i've found the galena i just need to make the draconic shelves which is a uh, kind of difficult to make you need the end shells which require infused dragon's breath and to get this dragon's breath you need to enchant normal dragon breath with at least 40 eterna i'm not too sure how much eterna my uh thing has it has 21 so to actually upgrade my eterna i'm gonna need to get these infused hell shells which is by enchanting normal hell shells which is what i have right here and then after i enchant this it probably won't be enough because the max i could do is 27 eterna and i'm gonna need 40 there's also extra like things you can add onto your bookshelves which gives you more eterna so i'm gonna have to focus on that later eventually but for now i do need the blazing hell shells because the max you could get with this is 30 but yeah this is gonna take like a couple of years at least for me so this video might be up extremely late and i'm very sorry in advance i'm not trying to make this armor mediocre i'm trying to have this like the best of the best so let's focus on infusing some hell shells i'm gonna try making this as fast paced as possible because this is gonna take me like at least hours or days in real life i'm not even joking so yeah i'm gonna farm everything i need for the hell shelves and then i'll be right back maybe not right back but i'll see you guys later okay i got 14 hell shelves and if we come up here i have to add some extra hell shelves right here just so i could upgrade the uh eterna so now i could infuse these bookshelves let's go ahead and do that for all of these there we go all right now we got 14 of these hell shelves 
shells. Now, I need to get the end shells by getting Infused Dragon's Breath, but I need at least 40 Eterna, which is actually a lot. I'm positive I need to remove these bookshelves and place the new ones. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm gonna need two more. All right, let's go ahead and place these down. Not too sure how much Eterna, 27. So after the infused hell shelves, I think I should be able to get glowing hell shelves or the blazing ones. It's not quite enough because the max is 30 Eterna. Okay, I think I figured it out. I made this little basement area, by the way, just for the enchantment table. I'm gonna be needing these dormant deep shelves so I could upgrade them into a soul touch deep shell. Then I could turn these into echoing skull shelves or the infused ones. I think that's what it is. Let's just say that. But anyways, it gives me max 40. So once I get these shells, I'll be able to uh, get the dragon fuse bottles and then upgrade into a draconic bookshelf and then just surround the enchantment table with them. So I'm going to need crack deep slate tiles so I can make the first bookshelves. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we got the tiles here. Now we just have to smelt these to crack them. I should be good on crack deep slate tiles. Now let's go ahead and turn these into the shelves. All right, I got 14. Now I just need to infuse these so I can upgrade it. And then eventually I'm going to need some echo shards and some candles or skulk and soul lanterns. It's actually not too, too bad to make. So I might as well go with that one. Actually, we're going to be needing more arcana because that's what's required for the draconic bookshelves i forgot how much arcana i need but that's for sure what i need so i'm gonna go for that and after the echoing deep shelves i'm gonna turn these into echoing skulk shelves which is pretty much the max i could get for now okay so i'm gonna have to upgrade these infuse hell shelves into either blazing hell shelves or glowing hell shelves i'm gonna go for the glowing hell shelves just because it's easier and i'm gonna be using these dormant deep shelves anyway and then i'll have to upgrade them later you already know okay i don't think this is enough glowstone to be honest so let me go to the nether and and I'll be back once I get enough glowstone. All right, this should be enough glowstone for 14 uh, bookshelves. Time to go back home. All right, let's go ahead and place these bookshelves here and make the glowing hell shelves. Let's place all these glowing hell shelves. Now let's see, 28. Oh, I think I need 15 bookshelves actually. All right, let's craft one more and just place it wherever. And it should be, yep, value is 30, nice. Now I'm able to infuse these dormant deep slate shelves. So let's go ahead and do that. Wow, I don't even have enough levels, but I've been reading some comments and you guys gave me a lot of xp tips so i'm gonna go ahead and take that advice so first we need bottles of enchantment now we turn these awkward potions with the bottles of enchanting into potions of ancient knowledge which increases experience gained by mobs and blocks and you could also upgrade them by just leaving the bottles of xp in here twice so it gives you double the amount of xp gained which is absolutely amazing three should be fine for now for me and from what i've seen i think it works as a potion charm i hope i'm not wrong because it does say invalid charm or something like that oh okay it does work nice so it applies ancient knowledge when it's active and in inventory so i can just right click it and it will give me the effect obviously and i got a soul siphon book and i do want to add it to my weapon so let's go ahead and do that if you guys don't know it gives you extra xp per kill well at least a chance to so that's pretty good as well so now the final thing i need to do is give myself a bag of souls which increases my xp gain so if i combine it here it gives me level three and it's not meant for weapons it's meant for armor so i think i want to do that for my old netherite diamond chest plate just so it could have some um, you oh my gosh 42 levels i am good on that never mind i'm gonna just use it on the normal diamond chest plate that works too nothing wrong with that 10 xp is still kind of crazy so now that we have this i could also wear these other pieces that have bag of souls so let me go ahead and do that boom boom and now i pretty much got everything i got soul siphon ancient knowledge too and bags of souls on pretty much all of this armor and i'm gonna also wear this superstitious hat for extra looting might as well anyways let's go to the uh skeleton grind and get to grinding sounds like there's enough skeletons down here now let's go ahead and activate this charm i think i have the effect anyways let's just go ahead and oh my gosh oh it only works in the trinket slot okay there we go so it's activated i'm pretty sure there we go. Oh my gosh, that was only two skeletons and it gave me that much XP. Okay, let's try this again. Let's activate this. Now put it in our trinket slot and 87 levels. Oh my gosh. That only took me like a minute to get all these skeletons here as well. Okay, I'm exaggerating. It took me like three minutes at least, but that's actually insane. Like that one skeleton gave me like three levels. All right, I'll be back until I get enough. Boom. 
100 levels, just like that. I should be chilling for now. I'm definitely going to be needing way, way, way more eventually. But there are some things I want to enchant, so this is going to have to do for now. So I do actually want to get unbreaking on this ancient knowledge. I do want unbreaking on this ancient knowledge, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just place an anvil in this corner. Now we could combine the unbreaking with this. This also gave me a bunch of other enchantments as well, which is crazy. And I have been grinding some of these books just to find out I'm breaking. Anyways, let's go ahead and enchant more of these deep shelves. All right, I got 14. Now I'm just going to have to turn these into echoing deep shelves. So echo shards, I do have plenty of these. I think I have like 30. And candles, uh... I have to get these from bees. It sounds like I have to go to the bumble zone. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go. This is like the only way to get the honeycombs. I'm sure there's another vanilla way to get these, but I'm not educated. And what's the fun in that? So I'm going to take some bottles, a couple of ender pearls, and start heading out for my honeycombs. All right, there's actually a bee nest in front of my house. So that's really good. So I'm pretty sure I just throw an ender pearl in here. Yeah, uh, any minute now. All right, finally. Okay, I'm in. It looks like I spawned inside of one of these uh, catacombs dungeon places or is it just a normal cave i think it's just a normal cave and from what i know if you break certain blocks all the bees will start just going hostile on you everything will kill you but i think i just need this hopefully i'm good nope it looks like i'm gonna need to look for it oh wait i think i could break this and get some yep there we go okay perfect all right okay 54 that's a lot but i need more than this i'm not gonna get into detail about the bumble zone this video because i still have so much to do today as you guys already know but definitely another time we will come back to the bumble zone and explore what it has to offer because it is pretty interesting to explore they've updated this dimension like a lot so a lot of stuff are pretty new to me i don't know about you guys but this should be enough honeycombs and the only way to leave this place is by going through the roof or just digging straight down okay any time now okay i'm almost here let's just break this i'm pretty sure you could use these to make a nest so i'm gonna be keeping some of these blocks as well don't think i would really use them much in the future but we'll probably see okay i'm out i have no idea why i brought those bottles or the saddle i completely forgot that i did not want to actually explore today i'm sorry i'm sorry for anyone who was looking forward to that anyways we could make 64 candles okay now let's grab these echo shards i only need 15 of these now let's pick up these glowing hell shelves oh my okay i accidentally uh made a mistake all right we're good now i should be able to turn these into echoing yep let's do that and next i need to turn these echoing deep shelves into the echoing skulk shelves which is pretty easy yep i'm able to craft them but i only have 10 skull catalysts and five warden tendrils so i'm definitely gonna have to go back to like the other side and kill some wardens for now let's just craft as much as i can so six not bad so far now i just need to go back to the warden place and kill some more warden completely forgot i had a waypoint there let's go all right i'm back i'm gonna pop an enchanted for the one time and let's go let's try this out i think it works yep he's frozen okay Whoever suggested this comment, I'm going to leave it on screen right now. Thank you so much. That's actually amazing. Here we go. So I can just keep smacking him and he's dead. All right, now I'm leaving the comment on the screen because I want you guys to see the fight. But thank you so much for that uh, advice. This soul pyre is actually amazing. Okay, I need this warden to spawn. Like, you're making all this noise, but you're not spawning. Spawn. I'm convinced it just doesn't work. All right, what about this one? Yep, here he goes. Boom. And now he's slowed. By the way, this isn't my good armor. This is my uh, old armor. Just so you guys know. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me kill you quick. Okay, I got two tendrils. I'm going to need nine of these because currently I have six books and I need nine of these for uh, the rest. Just die, man, please. All right, there we go. And we got three skull catalysts. I don't know how much I need. I'm going to just get like 10 of each. So I'm going to just keep grinding these wardens. And there we go. That's another one. And that's another one. And another one. My armor is almost broken. Oh my gosh. That's another one down and another one and another one and that's the last one for now i should have enough materials i have no idea where my waypoint is i just realized i don't even need my warden helmet because i have my goggles now let's see if i have enough i don't have any more skulk oh my gosh okay i have about a stack this should be enough all right now i should have enough 14 i need one more to be honest at least i think so i swear i had some dragon's breath that's weird oh wait oh it's in my back thank goodness my heart actually sunk for a second all right here we go this place is here oh my gosh that is a lot of everything i think i'm supposed 
supposed to like combine certain books so I could balance out all the Quanta and Eterna, blah, blah, blah. For the Eterna, some Quanta and some Arcana. So I'm going to have to balance out my house shelves with the uh, Warden ones, I think. So let me uh, test this out and see what I could do. So yeah, I only placed four and now it's like way less, but that's still a lot of uh, Arcana and Quanta. I need these exact stats. This requires 60. This requires 15. And this requires 40. So I'll be back until I balance out all the stats so I could get the infused Dragon's Breath. Okay, after a long time, I finally figured it out. You do have to combine some of these bookshelves to get certain uh, things you want, like the Eterna or whatever. But I use these melon shelves to decrease the Quanta because these Echoing Skulk shelves already give you like a ton of Quanta. So I had to tune it down a bit with these melon shelves so I could get less of the Quanta, if that makes sense. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this very well, but hopefully uh, this helps you guys as well. But if you guys are struggling with the uh, Dragon's Breath bottles, just know these are the things that you need for your bookshelves. So take a good look. You can take an image or something. It doesn't have to be this exact pattern. Just make sure you have these blocks surrounding your uh, enchantment table. So I definitely don't have enough levels. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with uh, 140 levels. Let's go ahead and enchant at least 15 of these bottles. Nah, I don't think I need to do that much because it does give you three of these. So let's just keep enchanting until we get 15. There we go. We got 15. Now we're able to craft the end shelves, which is actually really simple. I have a lot of end stone here. So this should be a piece of cake. All right, let's go ahead and make all of these. There we go. We got 15. Now, finally, we could get to the draconic end shelves. So I need dragon heads for this. And I currently have three out of 15. So these are actually too, too bad to get because there are like end ships that are just on the ground as you guys could probably remember from last episode and they usually have dragon heads at the front so i'm just gonna go ahead and try looking for those it shouldn't be too difficult and i might as well get some extra ender pearls too because i don't think this is gonna be enough i'm gonna add looting to my uh soul pyre axe there we go now finally let's get grinding okay this is the ship i was talking about i'm gonna go ahead and kill this specific enderman right here for that backpack give me that backpack thank you very much so if we go in front of the ship over here there should be a dragon head oh i see it it's right here here we go it's just stuck and yeah we just have to keep finding all of these uh broken down ships that are just in the middle of nowhere with chests that have absolutely nothing in them just flew over to the old uh end city and i missed out on this dragon head i can't even get it because of these uh guys oh my gosh i actually hate shulkers all right let's grab this there we go now we got two so far also to easily find these just look on your map and just try to know this a similar structure as this so let's go over here next i don't think i've been here yep it's another ship but i already took the head all right i'm gonna farm these uh dragon heads off camera you guys get the point so yeah i'll see you guys later okay this is my final dragon head finally there we go now i got 15 pretty much all my armor is broken even my elytra is about to break soon but there is something i do want to replace this with and you guys will see later on but anyways it's time to go back home okay now i should be able to craft the draconic shell after all these days of grinding i could finally get them oh i have just about enough okay let me take the 10 and then could i turn these into ender pearls nope it looks like i can't it's used for other stuff that's really dumb okay i can only craft 13 for now i'm gonna have to go back to the end to grind some more endermen real quick oh my gosh i'm just one-shotting everything Okay, I should have enough ender pearls. Let's go back home. Now I'm able to craft the rest. Let's go. I got all 15, which is the best you could basically get in the game. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of these. Now let's place these down. There we go. Now we're finished. It's kind of uneven, but still pretty good. I just realized I have three extra dragon heads. I have no idea how, but that's not what's important. We finally got the max Eterna. So now we have crazy enchantments. So since we're finally done with the bookshelves, it's time to upgrade our mythic armors. So let's go ahead and start enchanting. Hmm, I don't want this. I'll keep refreshing once I get a good enchantment. Protection 5. Okay. I'm breaking 5. Bags of souls. Magic. Oh my god. Gosh, that is amazing. Actually amazing. Protection 5 on just this book. I low-key put this on like one of my other armors if it doesn't get it. But I'm going for Protection 5 either way for everything. Let's go with that. Uh, this is kind of... Eh. Alright, what's this? So Fire Focus, which increases fire damage basically. And Deflect, which basically uh flings the arrow away from you once attacked with, if that makes sense. It's kind of trash, but whatever. Projectile Protection, I kind of do want that. But at the same time, I do want normal 
normal protection. All right, protection five once again. Life mending. I don't know how to feel about that. Let me go ahead and put on all this armor just to see how it is. So about a thousand power level. Okay. And while holding my molten edge, it's 14,000. That's not bad. I've actually seen way higher, like 3,000 or something. But I don't think I could get to that point at the moment. This is like basically the best I could do. But I definitely do want to replace some of these enchantments because I don't really like them. So we could just go over here to the grindstone and just take it off. I can't take off the life mending on these boots, unfortunately. But anyways. What I'm looking for next is unbreaking once again because none of the armor had unbreaking besides the helmet. So hopefully I get that this time. Maybe I'm actually going to add these echoing skulk shelves here for more arcana because it gives you a uh, more rare enchantments. And apparently with these, I could actually see which enchantments I get. So that is actually amazing. Okay, I'm going to keep rolling these enchantments and I'll be back once I find something interesting or not. I actually did find something interesting. Let me take that. Thank you very much. Life mending actually takes away a couple of my hearts. Oh, it's actually not the life mending, it's the reckless. So my health is reduced by 60%, but I gain the strength effect relative to the level of enchantment. So that's good and bad at the same time. I'll give it a chance. So pretty much all of my armor is enchanted. I still need to add on breaking to these. And also, I made some new leggings because I can't be asked using these. So this one has on breaking 5 and fire protection 5. Heal allies, that doesn't really uh, matter too much so once i get the unbreaking books i should be good so i finally got the unbreaking books for my leggings and chest plate and the protection five book for my boots so let's go ahead and combine everything real quick there we go now i should be all set i do have reckless three on this chest plate that's why some of my hearts are gone which is kind of unfortunate but i don't think it's too bad since it does give me extra strength i don't know how much more strength though but anyways i do want to reforge my molten's edge and my soul pyre as well but I don't really have much runic tablets, so I don't know how well this is going to turn out. All right, let's see what I could get. Highly doubt I'm going to get anything too good. Mm, I mean, I guess this is fine. I'm going to just save this for another time the soul pyre is fine molten edge it's okay and i could actually upgrade the shadow crossbow into a vile crossbow or veiled so let me go ahead and do that and it's legendary that's actually perfect could be better but it's really good so let's go over here and enchant also there's something i haven't done in a long time and it's to claim my quest so let me go ahead and do that there we go we got some limestones pretty useless to be honest i'm gonna place this like up here might as well now, let's see what we could do so this this isn't that good okay this is pretty solid chain reaction and levitation shots so they start floating in the air and i could just simply shoot them out the air well anyways i think i'm done for now with upgrading everything so make draconic shells is done and making the best gear ever is done pretty much now i just have to fight the wither so i already have skulls right here you guys should already know how this is gonna go i want to know the potential of my crossbows so i'm gonna have to wear my range necklaces and my range ring all right let's get very far from the house and i think i should be good right here all right let's go ahead and summon this wither boom wait what how come i can't summon it something's telling me i have to spawn him in the nether so let me go ahead and try that all right this spot should be fine to spawn him in please tell me this works boom yep it works all right let's do this oh my gosh i actually did plenty of damage 40 damage All right, bro, you're all up on me. All right, pretty much dead, though. And goodbye. I got the Lord Soul, Nether Star, Wither Eyes, and a Shard of Uncertainty. Looks like this is used for a uh, a boss. As you can see right here, it seems to be perfectly fit in a certain pedestal. Lord Soul. All right, now let's go home. Now for the Lord Soul, I did say a while back that there was a specific weapon slash companion that I need, which is a Sword of Friar. So you guys could read through this, but basically it's like a pet that attacks enemies for me. So here we are. We got the Sword of Friar. You place it down and it just stays behind your back most of the time time until something attacks you or you attack something so just watch for example oh there we go the sword is just attacking that zombie straight away it's not that strong right now but i could make it stronger there is a way to just like set him down there should be a bind for it so yep there is a bind for it you can have your sword stationary or guarding and guarding means it's just like behind your back i'm pretty sure and this is pretty self-explanatory i don't have to say anything about that so i'm gonna make this mouse four and i'm gonna make this mouse five so there we go i press mouse five now it's just stationary and now it's guarding once i press it again to return it i just press my 
my other button. You can also uh, use it normally, obviously. But yeah, it's just an overall really good weapon just to have on you. Just so it does this, it's really amazing. But anyways, let me stop chatting. Let me go ahead and upgrade this sword. I'm going to figure out what to do with the nether star later. There's nothing really much that I have used for at the moment. All right, screw it. I'll take the extra durability. At least I could enchant it. Let me refresh these enchants until I get something good. Okay, this is not bad. Stunning is really good and knockback because this is more of like a defense weapon just to get enemies off of me. So I will gladly take that. I'm curious if a uh, sharpness works on this though. Let's see. Yup, it does. I'll take that. Now let's go ahead and test this out. Okay. Still doing pretty uh mediocre damage. But I think it's pretty fine. But hey, I'll keep it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. it takes me a long time to make these videos, you guys know. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day.